Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Please turn down your TV set. I want to speak. Uh, I'm coming with that. I want to speak to the wonderful man. Yes, please go ahead. That is there. Uh, hello, good evening. Good yes. evening, sir. I have to show my uh, television screen. And what I want to let this our beautiful young man to know about. He's talking about PDP as if people have a structure and he's doing this, doing that. When he was a vice president, you know, when you have a stigma already, a stigma that Nigeria knows about, now you are coming as the president, you are you are saying all sorts of promise, this is what I will do, out of your structure to we as a Nigerian now have a use. We have set up of it. I'm telling you, if it's not that people are in power now, so what I want God to do is to scrub these people out. Because they are tired of you people telling the people the truth. Because your promises, you will do this so you are of your day, PDP to APC, PC to PDP. So we are tired. The truth of the matter is that what we want as to the glory of God that I don't mind going to be by believe that God. The structure that it will be in that 2023. That's what I have for you people. God bless you, sir. Well, God bless you too, sir. You know, you know, you know. I said earlier on. I said, I said, what what he said is, I have belief. Um, it's like he's voting hopefully, uh -huh. not vo if we are voting wisely. If we are voting wisely, that want to get APC out, <clears throat> we we'll focus on the most pragmatic means. And then he said, you know, Atiku has a sort of stigma. I don't know that stigma. I don't know that stigma, but I would explain. The candidates that we've mentioned, Bola Tinubu once campaigned for Atiku Abubakar. Rabi Ukwaku and so once campaigned for Atiku Abubakar. Peter, Peter Obi in 2019 <laughs> campaigned for Abubakar. What stigma? Everybody who is his opponent has once said this man should be president. So if not for political differences now, that's why they are saying I'm better than him. If Bola Tinubu stands up to say I'm better than him, Atiku Abubakar has never said Bola Tinubu should be president. He has never said Kwakwansu should be president. He has never said Peter Obi should be president. But all three of them have once in their lives campaigned actively and said they trust. And we have those records and we'll bring it out for young people to see. So that young people will know that, look, 2023 is we have to engage our brains to vote and not just follow, follow. Well, look, I mean, because, I mean, it's possible for them to change their minds. Yeah, they, because, could, they could have made because, look, could have a mistake. When you, me. when you tell me, oh, you are tired of, mm -hmm. of, of, of the... Okay. I, I think the, the, hello, yeah. hello, good evening. Good evening, yeah. Yes, please yeah, go I ahead. Want to contribute, I want to contribute to the program going on. Please um, go ahead. We you have um, a demo lab? Yes, sir. The program? Yes, sir. Yeah, my name is Ola from Abuja. Okay, Mr. Ola, please go on. Yeah, good evening, uh, Dimola. Good to see your face. Good evening, I follow, Mr. Ola. I, fo I follow you on uh, on Twitter, and I just got to Twitter and I saw that you are on this channel. Oh, thank you. I, thank I, you for... Briefly, yeah, yes. Mine is the current problem between Wiki <laughs> and, uh, and the party. It's unavoidable. <laughs> it's unavoidable. <laughs> yes. I, I, how come that the whole of PDP that is no single person who could speak to Wiki <laughs> because um, at my age now, I feel like Wiki is just four years um, older than myself. Mm. And I feel that now Wiki is exposing himself and putting the party in danger. You have how many governors between five governors? They suddenly what happened in 2014. Five governors leaving PDP, five governors today is fighting. Is that a cause somewhere? <laughs> I mean, that's one of one thing I, I would, would Nigeria yeah. really, really worried about. That how come that the PDP cannot put this house in order? A vote for we will not even have PDP three PDP, three PDP uh, contesting against one EPC. PDP article uh, main, 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 main branch. A sub branch PDP Kwakwaso, mm -hmm. another sub branch PDP Opita Obi. 
Okay, so CDP is stratified into three sections. Hmm. APC is one. Hmm. So any of the any of any vote taken taken from uh, I can see the uh, double laughing, but <laughs> any vote that go to Peter Obi or go to Compass so will weaken the PDP. Why APC is marching on stronger? I think the the best the best thing is for PDP to push is out in order. And the more what's happening in Lagos as well. Like, I'm interested in what is happening in, in Lagos. The same thing is happening in Lagos. People, uh, this young man, people has, has left, and then you have these guys. So you now have two PDP again fighting against one from the WPC in Lagos. So you can see that PDP is just here and there. And it's not actually formidable anywhere. What's happening? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. 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 Can I ask you who you are voting for? Who's your candidate? Hello? About, I mean, the way he's been talking, you can tell he's, he's, he's he wants PDP. I think he, he really wants PDP to win. Mr. Alapi, send me a DM. Shoot me a DM and then and we'll talk more about um, different things. In Lagos, we are good. We are fully behind um, Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide, I did, you know, um, I'm his campaign spokesperson, and we are fully on that agenda also. At the federal level, you see, what's going on with this governor, that governor, is politics. Okay? Everybody wants a stake in it. But like I said, if the fight is about zones, um, then the South-South is good. They have a vice president. The running mate is produced by South-South. Mm. Um, so the South South should um, be good. Uh, although even in that, the, 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 the stock well, that somebody they... feels that a Milokon that it is, you know. Oh, no, and, even aside, but there's even, a lot of even, even in Delta states, there's talks that um, James Ibori and um, the James Bobo Bobo is, are not is, on the same. Page. No, everybody is with us hundred percent. Um, everybody is with us hundred percent. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening, please. Yes, good evening, sir. I, I just I just call. I have to call back again. Okay. Because I can see that Demola asked me the question. Demola, yes. you asked me a question. All well, I have is to ask Yes, I asked you a question, sir. Yeah. I asked that who are you voting for? I asked you are voting for. Who do, I, who do I want to vote for? Yes. See, I'm convinced since 2006, since 2006, that I'm going to vote for Atuko Albapa. <laughs> 2006, I won't get anyone to contest PDP. Uh, presidential, presidential election in 2007 on that platform of, uh, of uh, PDP and he left. And uh, I think he came to ACN. Yes. And I said I was good. And I, and I, I didn't vote because as, as a practicing journalist, I was on the field. Oh. Uh, and they, but subsequently, I have always voted for, for PDP. And my wife was talking just last week. He said, if there's anybody that will vote, she has never voted. My wife said, if there's anybody, that, and I did not even discuss with this matter with her, said, if there's anybody that will vote for in this election, is Atuko Abubakar, <laughs> my wife, who is never partisan, who is never interested. That's, but she that's met this year, she to hear. Vote, and is voting for PDP, for Atiku Abubakar. I believe in Atiku Abubakar's program. I have read his manifesto. I have not seen the one of Tinubu. I'm yet to see one from, uh, from Peter Obi. Yes. I, I'm yet to see one. I have seen from Atiku Abubaka, and I'm convinced about what he has put on the ground. So I want to see if, by the time I was born in Lagos 54 years ago at Massey Hospital. Massey Children's Lagos Hospital. Island. Lagos Island. So I'm a Lagos yes. boy. Now, I would advise if, if in a when Chinobu was younger, 19, 2001, I called back him as a young, young journalist in Lagos. 2001. He, when he was younger, a brilliant, a brilliant man, smart, intelligent. But at his age right now, something is going missing. Peter Hobby, I don't see him much apart from um, just one thing. There is no more difference in age between uh, Matiku and, and Ashwaji. One, <laughs> <laughs> one is more agile than the other. One is more agile. Thank, thank you, Mr. Ola. Thank you very much. Mr. Lapi, send me a DM. I'm happy with you and your wife. You have made my night on this program. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but, but really, I mean, but what he asked earlier on, it's, in, it's um, politicians will always have differences based on interest. Mm. Everybody wants what's in it for me. I've contributed to this party I've been. And you can hear that in some of the things that they say. But again, um, 
I believe that, you know, everybody will be brought to the table at the right time. Everybody will have a stake in this governance. Mm. If we are talking about ethnicity, if we are talking about religion, everybody will have a stake at the end of the day.